Oh, so can't see me like that. Like that. I'm on the way if you level. Baby level. Baby level. I'm on the way if you level. Hi, welcome back to Lavana Beauty. I'm Annabelle of Lavana Beauty, and today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this long, slick back ponytail with well high ponytail and with natural hair because my hair is natural it's not perm but I was able to slick it back this much and get looking popping and my ponytail is mad long and I got this ponytail off a website called wig types I'll put the link in the description box but it's wig types and it's the free it's the perm press ponytail I think that's what it's called it's 30 inches I know that sounds really scary but if you think about it it goes from here down not from like the nape of your neck well for this look so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial it's a really beautiful um, ponytail it's long it doesn't like tangle you can use it for up for up to like three weeks I think yeah that's the longest I've used it for three weeks and it every time I just brush it once in a while I would spray my olive oil spray on it just so it's not dry finger use my finger to like comb through it or use a big brush and it still looks it still ends up being as good it starts to get a little matte at the tip but that's what you get for paying seven dollars for a 30 inch ponytail yes i said seven dollars it's seven dollars that doesn't include shipping but if you're lucky and you have a really fancy beauty supply store by you you can probably get it from there but i got i get mine online all the time and this is probably like my fourth one because i love it so much i heard about it first from someone here on youtube um it's my ray ray i'm sure you guys know her i would leave the link to her video in the description box but that was how i found out about this beautiful ponytail before i just wrap like bundles of hair <laughs> around my bun but that's messy it takes too much time but this is just like it comes as a drawstring ponytail just put your hair in it drop string and it just stays like that you secure with bobby pins but all in all this is my ponytail the tutorial on this look is on my channel it's i probably post i posted a couple of weeks ago but yeah it's just a glowy summer look nothing out of the ordinary and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment and hit that subscribe button down below i'll see you in my next video bye so i start off with freshly stretched hair i just took out my cornrows and i just spritz a lot of water into my hair just to moisturize it with my spray bottle just keep spraying then i go in with my cantu leave-in conditioner and i just saturate my hair with it all over to make it softer and moisturized seeing as my cornrows were in for a long time then i go with a wide tooth comb and i just detangle my hair starting from the roots and starting from the ends and comb down to the root and then i use a hair dryer and i dry my hair to so further stretch it and make it black again after all the conditioner just keep drying Gonna voice it. then i use a tail comb to part about three inches of hair or maybe 2.5 inches of hair and i just separate that in the front and you know why i'm doing that in a couple of minutes but i separate it and then i just weave it all the way down i part in half and weave it down both sides to separate it from the rest of the hair so it doesn't get in the way as i work the rest of the magic at the back next i go in my eco styler gel big jar and my got to be glue i take a little bit of both and i mix them up and i put it all over my hair like especially at the perimeter of the one the part that i left out i put it all around and then i go in with the thread i usually use black but i couldn't find my black thread and i use that to secure my hair into a poof like a really tight well not really ponytail but you get like a ponytail and i just keep tightening it till it gets to the height and the tightness that i want and then i tied the thread away it, don't, it doesn't need to be too tidy because we're going to work on the after and then i take out what i secured earlier and i don't always do this step but because i wanted it slick for about two weeks i did this so i go with small sections i go with my hair dry, my hair straightener and i'm really scared of hair straighteners as you can tell but i can <laughs> I go in my hair straight now and just make it like straight and nice and slick so when I slick it down it matches the ponytail exactly and it stays for so it lasts so much longer than if I just blow dry it then I saturate it again with eco styler gel a lot of it and I just slick it down to the ponytail I just keep trying to get it as slick as I want uh, 
Then I go out with some more got to be and just use that to secure it further. I really want this look very slick. And I use a tiny toothbrush and some more eco styler gel. And I just make sure it, the hair strands are fully stretched and fully slicked down. Then I go in with a regular black hair tie and I just secure everything all together. Somebody like me. So baby don't do like that. Baby don't do like that. Oh, yeah, forget to your baby. Then I go in with this Cover Your Grey Hair Mascara. It's actually to cover grey hairs, like grey roots, but I use it for my edges. And I just use it to fill in my edges because I have very sparse and thin edges. And this ends up looking so natural, so nice. Adds so much more volume to my edges. And I use a tiny toothbrush and a tiny bit of gel. And I just keep slicking down my edges and get those nice baby hairs that I like. And yes, I just go in with some more Eco Styler Gel and I just keep slicking it down. And this is a trick I learned from Tiara Monet and it works like magic. The edges look so natural after. And then after I do this, I have a little, put a little bit on my finger and I just use it to fill in the sparse areas of my edges. After that, I go in and I scarf my hair. I scarf it really tight. Well, not too tight, not tight enough to give me a headache, but tight enough to keep it slicked down. And I secure it with it and I let it air dry. I don't use any more heat on my hair because I've used enough. And I just leave it down overnight and I go to bed. And here I am. It wasn't morning, it was just a couple of hours after I have my face beat. And I take it off. Sometimes I leave some white residue, but that's easily taken care of. I just make sure my edges, my um hairline blends in with the makeup. And then I go in with my ICU Fantasia spritz gel i'll leave the name in the description box and then i go in with the toothbrush again spray some on the toothbrush and just use that to run through and it takes away the white residue super quickly very easily it's not too much work it doesn't stress me out at all and then i spray more of the spritz gel it's just a holding mousse like a liquid mousse and i just comb through with the brush i brush through it and i spray some um, olive oil sheen spray just to make sure my hair is shiny now the star of the show the ponytail i remember from the pack comes in like a net and i take it out of the net it's kind of hard <laughs> and then i remove the tags i braid my pon my ponytail into one i make it like smaller so it fits over it and then it comes with clips on the inside i clip the top and the bottom because it has two clips on top and the bottom and then i secure the drawstring I pull it really tight and then I use that to I wrap the drawstring around the ponytail as many times as it can go and then I take a like a blob of hair from the back and I wrap that around the drawstring again just so it looks more natural and you can't really see the demarcation as much and I usually secure it with a bobby pin but today I didn't do that because I didn't feel the need to because it was just for the tutorial and yeah i go back in with the makeup brush blend everything out then go in with the powder brush touch up my face and just touch up everything and that's the end of the tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and look how long the ponytail is it's pretty long i hope you enjoyed it and i would i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye